Hi everyone, this is Tim Corbley with the KISS Institute for Practical Robotics. Today we're going to be showing you how to mount one of these gears to the servo right here. And once we do that, we're going to actually create a claw that uses two gears to churn the claw and open and close it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is you're going to gather up all these pieces that we have right here. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and take a moment to pause the video and grab all these pieces. Got them? All right, let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount our servo inside of the servo bracket. And so let's go ahead and put it in wire first. And one thing that's going to matter a lot here is orientation. And so I'm going to be doing this a certain way in the video. You could technically do it the opposite way, but this may make it a little bit easier to follow. So this way that I currently have it is actually not the way that I'm going to want it. And the way you can tell is if you face this side right here that has all these holes on it out away from you, the spline of the servo right here should be to the right. So we're going to flip that around. There we go. So I got that where I need to go now. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these medium screws right here, and I'm going to secure the servo to the servo bracket with it. So I'm going to push it through. So I've got it in there now, and I'm going to take one of these nuts, I'm going to put it on the other side. So now that I've got it in there, notice the way I'm holding it. So I'm holding the nut with one finger and the rest of the servo and the servo bracket with the other two or three fingers. And so this allows me to have full control of my screwdriver, but then be able to screw this in really easily because the screw is being held by the servo itself. So I'm going to start screwing in. And what you'll notice is this allows me to keep the nut in place and it keeps it from churning. It allows me to screw it in really easily. So I've got it in, didn't screw it in too tight yet because I want to make sure I get this other side. So we're going to go ahead and put the screw in on the other side. And once I've got that in, we're going to do the same thing again. And so I'm going to take my screw, screw it in. All right. I'm going to tighten this one up. Now I can tighten the other side fully up as well. All right, so we're good to go with this piece now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this servo horn right here to the servo. And so if you're looking for this piece or any other of these pieces right here, there's a plastic bag inside of the bag that your servos and motors came in, and all those pieces will be in there. So we're going to put that on. Now I'm going to take the little black screw that was in that bag. There's always one per bag, and I'm going to screw that into the servo horn here, so that way it stays on and doesn't fall off. So let's go ahead and screw that in. Got that on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our gear and the way you're going to want to mount this is the gear has these four holes here in the center. And so the diagonal of the holes right here should line up with the holes that are straight across from each other here on the servo horn. So I'm going to place that on there for the moment. I'm going to grab one of these silver screws and this little brass head that goes with it. And so what this does is this little brass head allows it the head of the screw to be slightly bigger so that this will actually fit inside the Lego pieces and not fall all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it inside one of these gear holes right here. So I got that in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the screw, and I'm going to line it up with one of these holes right here that's in the center. So I've got that in, I'm holding it all with one hand so I can grab my screwdriver. I'm gonna take the screwdriver, put it underneath my thumb, into the screw and start screwing it in just a little bit. And so one thing you'll want to make sure you do is don't screw this in too much yet, because if you'll notice, it's kind of tilted right now, and we're going to have to actually screw in this other side. And if you screw it in too much, it'll be really hard to get that other screw in. So I'm going to go ahead and take my other silver screw and a little brass head, put them together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in on this opposite one from the screw right here. So we got them opposite of each other. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and find it a hole to go into. So this can be a little bit tricky sometimes. You kind of just have to move the screw around with your finger. But there we go. Got it. So I'm going to hold that there with my thumb. Put the screwdriver in. So now the screwdriver is holding it. Just screw in a couple of times. All right, so now it's on there. So it's pretty balanced right now, but we probably want it just a little bit tighter so that it doesn't have a chance of falling off. 
So I'm going to screw this in just a little bit more. There we go. Screw this side in a little more. There we go. So I'd say my gear is pretty balanced on this. It seems to be pretty balanced. All right. And the reason that's important is whenever your gears are turning, you want them to be level with each other. And so this will keep them from skipping a gear, things like that. All right, so now that we've got this ready to go, we're gonna actually go ahead and take one of these two by four pieces, and we're gonna put this right here. And this will help us later on whenever we're making the rest of the claw, but we're gonna go ahead and screw that on with a long screw. And usually you can use a long or a medium screw to put Lego pieces on, but uh, in this case, we're gonna use a long one. It's what we have on hand. It shouldn't matter too much. So I'm gonna screw that on through the corner hole. There we go. Okay, so you can see I've got it through the corner hole. And so now I'm gonna make sure this is pretty straight with the rest of it. I'm actually gonna take one of these pins right here because we have no other way to secure it to the rest of the metal piece here. I'm just gonna put this pin through the hole right here. What this will do is keep it from turning too much in either direction. So I've got that in. All right, so now I think we're good to go to start get working on the claw. So the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're going to take one of our claw pieces and it's gonna be opening and closing with this piece here and another one over here. So we're actually gonna turn our claw right here, just like, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna go with that one. So, got that on. All right, so I've got this on right here, and the reason why I turned it like this is I wanna be able to put this claw piece on the outside. And so this will allow me whenever I'm opening and closing it, it's not actually going to interfere with any of these other pieces we're going to put on top. So let's go ahead and get that on there. All right. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1x7 beam right here. And I'm going to take one of these axle pieces with a little pin on the top of it. And I'm going to put this in the second to last hole on the end there. So once I've got that in, I'm going to put that on here in the center of our gear. And so this is actually now sitting on top of our little claw piece right here. And no matter what, how far you turn it either direction, it's not going to go past any edge of this right here. So we should be good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna basically replicate what we have right here on the other side, but just mirrored. And so I'm going to take one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and put my claw on it. So remember, it's gonna be mirrored. So if we're gonna mirror this, gonna put this right here. It'll look like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. So let's take one of our little axle pins, another normal pin, and we're just gonna put it opposite of that right there. There we go. So now it's mirrored like that. You can sort of see that. So now that we've got that on there, we need our other axle with a half pin on top. We're gonna put that in to our beam right here. And so what's important, important is gonna be the positioning of this. And so if you'll remember from another video that we did, this large gear right here has a radius of three holes. When I say that, that just means that if you start from the center right here and you go over until the gear ends, it's gonna be three holes. So you can kind of see that right now. So we're gonna go ahead and put this six holes over because we go three holes for one, three holes for the other, so we're gonna drop that into that last hole right there. All right, so now we've got actually a gear that turns along the other gear, but we don't have this piece right here secured yet. And so what we're gonna to do to do that is we're gonna take this other two by four piece, and then we're gonna put a couple of pins in it. And we're gonna see if this lines up with that right there. Looks like it does. And so we don't have a good way of securing this to this piece right here, but we know that we want these two axle holes right here to line up. So let's go ahead and first go ahead and put our axle in here, and then we'll put this other piece on top. So I'm actually gonna take this pin out right here because we weren't able to secure that to there. I'm gonna put it right there instead. So I'm gonna put that on the axle. So now that I've got that on, I can take 
this last piece right here to actually secure it to this rod right here that keeps rotating. So I'm gonna take two pins, put one pin in here, put another pin in here, I'm gonna put that in there. And now the line of this right here is parallel to this line right here. So that way we can line these up. There we go. All right, so now we're good to go with this. And so if you rotate this gear right here, it opens and closes. And so just to go over a couple of things really quick about why this is working the way it is, whenever you move this gear this direction, so if we're turning it inwards, what it's doing is it's pushing this other gear the other direction. And so the number of gears that you have in a claw matters a lot. And so if you have an even number of gears, the one on this end and the one on this end are gonna move opposite each other. If you have an odd number, they'll move the same direction. We'll go over that in a different video at some point, but just to show you guys what the reasoning is right there and why we only used two. So we've got our fully made claw. Should be easy to mount things to it because we have this whole line of holes right here that we can use to mount to other pieces. We even got this back here. So here's our fully made claw and we'll see you guys in the next video.